Hello everyone, how are you doing? My name is Bukhari and today in this video I'm going to show you how to create a simple um, Xcode iPhone app designed in Xcode, right? So I'm going to do that. I'm going to show you how to. Alright, so I'm launching Xcode. So this is the Xcode version 5.1.1 and I'm going to create a new Xcode project and then this is going to be the single view application then press next then give it a name like my first app and next and make sure it is for the iPhone and we'll cover iPad universal later okay so for this one iPhone okay next and then I'm going to create a new folder on my desktop okay so I'm going to give the folder a name my first app folder and I want everything to be in that folder all the repository files okay so create so it's, it's creating all the local repository files okay and it's ready to work with first I need to uh, get some uh, images that I want to put in the project I just copied it from there and anyways um, just uh, I'm just going to put the images in this folder, okay? And going back to the export. And first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to click on this supporting file folder, okay? So, so I'm going to put all my images in this supporting file folder, okay? So. So I'm going to drag and drop all the images that I want, that I want in the supporting folder file. Okay, supporting file folder, and it is going to tell me that to copy items into destination groups folder if needed. It is required just in case if you move your files around, so file your um, files don't go missing okay that's the reason okay so it makes a copy for of it if you just just in case if you mess around okay so finish and then second thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to click on this main storyboard and we're not going to do any coding in here okay so I, I, I don't know how to code in Xcode so this is the way I found to work okay so I'm going to use the main storyboard so I'm clicking on main, main storyboard and this is my storyboard this is my work area okay so so we are not going to code a single line we're simply going to drag and drop and that will be it so beautiful so we don't need this uh, bar in here for this for the time being okay so clicking in there it goes and comes in like slide in slide out navigation anyways they could have given some transition effect but they didn't anyways um, okay so now that we have our view controller this is called a view controller okay this is view controller so I'm going to add an image on this okay so to add an image on the view controller I need to find the let me show you first that this is this is where you have everything okay all the necessary uh, items are in here okay so this is the box and this is the media bar okay media category and this is the all the necessary goodies in here okay and this is for the code stuff and this is also for the coding stuff I'm not familiar with this I'm familiar with this one okay so and first thing you do is that to add the image first we need to drag and drop the image view controller okay so image view so this is the one we need so image view we are going to simply drag and drop and place it in our view controller okay so this is the view controller we just um, 
drag and edit the image view UI image view and I'm um, click on this and we'll get this option image view and here we will have our images that we have already kept in our folder right so I'm going to add the first image okay this is the first one and I'm also on, I also want to add another image on top of it okay so I'm going to add another image view in there and I'm also going to add the image I want and I'm also going to um, center it properly so to do that view come into the mode and center and that will uh, make sure it fits in there properly precisely okay looking good all right and then I also want to add a button in there okay so you can write what you're looking for okay then it would pop up uh, otherwise you can just scroll up and down and find it okay so I'm going to add a button so I'm going to drag and drop it okay I'm going to change the name from you can change the name from here or double click on here so I'm going to write tap here and make sure it is vertically centered and put it anywhere you like and also I'm going to change the color to white okay looking great so this is our first page okay so when we launch the application it will be our first page right excellent <clears throat> now we are going to add another window in here okay so it is going to be a view controller okay so this is view controller we are simply going to drag and drop and you can place it anywhere in this work area okay so it's not a problem okay just put it there like so and I also want to add an image on this on this view controller okay so I'm going to drag the image view okay and then add the image I want all right and I'm going to also want to have a text label in there and also have buttons in there okay so let's do that label and buttons are normally mostly used that's why it's in the top okay just after the yellow boxes all right so label first first I'm going to change the color and I'm going to write um, welcome and I'm also going to add another label color to white page 2 this is for our understanding so that we know that we are in page 2 page 3 page 4 things like that okay so page 2 and anyway, and then the button okay so this button is going to be home button so it will when we click on this home button it will take us to this home page okay so I'm going to place it right here yep and I'm going also going to add I'm also going to change the color okay and I'm also going to add the another um, button in here so I can also copy and paste it from there also going to change it next so that I can go to the next page all right so our second page is complete okay page 2 is complete so we will need these next button home button page and yeah page these three things I'm going to copy it and I'm going to click away I'm going to add another view controller place it anywhere you like within this workflow the storyboard workflow notice that we already have an issue but don't bother don't touch it right now basically it's saying that it's not connected to each other okay so nothing to worry if there are issues then 
when we build it's not gonna work function and that issue will be gone by itself just bear with me okay so in this second uh, third one I'm going to add the image view and I'm going to add the image okay and then I'm going to click on these and then I'm going to paste the texts from there that I have copied okay so this is going to be page 3 and this is going to be previous PREV so that when we click on this previous button it will take us to the second page okay from the third page and I also have the I want to I want to I want to have the option from here that I want to go back to home okay so that I can go home from this page so I should have kept it anyways so I have my home button I have my previous and next button okay so it will take me to this this page directly okay so when I click and when I press previous then it will be taking me to this page and when I click next it will be take take me to the next page like so okay looking great so we can do this and we can you can go forward you know you can put thousand pages so we can I'm going to stop it stop in here okay so it's the basic idea so um, I'm going for that I'm going to remove the next button I'm going to keep the previous button anyways now our design is complete okay so we need to add we need to connect them to each other okay so click on this button and then I'm going to right click and hold the right click okay right click and holding the right click and drag the line to the next page so basically what I want is that when I click on this tab here button I want it to go to this page so I'm going to take the line to this page I'm going to release it and then I'm going to select model okay model make sure you select the model okay so this page is connect connected to this page and notice that we al also have the uh, issue one here but it will be go away after we connect this page to this page okay so notice so from this page I want to go back to this page okay so clicking on the home, home button I'm going to sim uh, right click and holding it and drag the line to the home page releasing it and select model and the issue should be gone but it didn't anyways it will go okay so so this page are connected to each other so I'm going to connect this page to this page okay so I'm going to uh, right click on this and holding it and drag the line to this next page and releasing it model all right then the issue is right now the issue is gone because they are all connected to each other okay so that was the issue here so it's gone now anyways so I'm also going to be able to go back to home from this page number three okay so I'm right clicking on it holding it dragging it to the destination page releasing it model okay and also from this page I want to go to the previous page right clicking in holding it and taking it to the dragging it to the destination file or page releasing it model so our uh, design is complete our connection is complete okay so it's ready to roll this application is ready to roll okay trust me so first thing I'm going to do is that product clean if there are some it is stuff I'm going to change these to click on retina iPhone 4 okay and I am going to click on this uh, build button okay so there you go build success succeeded and then our iPhone simulator will be launched and it is it has now this this is the full functional application you can see I'm going to tap in here there you go 
the second page slides in we're going to go to the next page the third page slides in excellent if I want to go to the previous page the previous page slides in if I want to go to the next page again and from there if I want to go to the home page you can do that there you go we're here in the home page we're here in the second page and from the second page we're going to go to the home page and so on so forth okay but one thing I want you to take a note is that this is sliding the transition is sliding from the bottom to top okay so if you if you ever want to change the transition effect okay you can do that you know so how are you going to do that let me show you how you can do that so I'm going to uh, exit the simulator quit the simulator and when I click on this view controller okay so when I click on this any of these view controller okay you see this here transition style so right now by default it is set to cover vertical that is the slide we are having in, in the transition okay so there are three more uh, transition effect in there so flip horizontal cross dissolve partial curl okay so you can use any of them to your transition style as your transition style okay so that's how you change your transition style okay so let me quickly show you how to do that okay so I just have from the first one I'm going to add the cover um, flip vertical okay for the first one I selected flip vertical for the second one I am choosing the um, choosing the um, page curl okay for the third one I'm going to choose the cross dissolve that's fade effect things like that anyways let's check it so there is our simulator so this is the second page right and in third page should be uh, fade effect cross dissolve previous will be always will be uh, the curl and the home page will be flip horizontal that's how we set it okay and you can change it and you can customize it further if you know how to all right so that's it that's about it let's change this to cover vertical as it was anyways there you go build it again so there is our beautiful application in no time so there you go I hope you had fun learning from this okay tutorial and if you do if it helped you at all please give this video a like and do write to me if you know something else with the Xcode I'm this environment is very new to me so I just figured out how to do it and I thought that I should share with you so there you go have fun building it and please do let me know what's your experience with this tutorial and do subscribe to my channel for more cool stuff okay so thank you for being here thank you for your time thank you for your presence I really appreciate your presence okay so thank you take care bye